Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Kim. And Miss Laura. And this is Miss Sprocket. Yes, Miss Sprocket is Laura's cat. She's a tortie. Oh, can you give me kisses? Can you give me kisses? Hello. She's very soft. Miss Sprocket is here because we're going to be reading some stories about cats Oh, there today. she goes. <laughs> we are reading Cat Up a Tree. And Widget. It's about a dog who thinks he's a cat. I very really enjoy funny. that one. It's fun. Yes. We hope you enjoy it too. Bye. Bye. Cat Up a Tree by John and Ann Hassett. Nana Quimby went to the window and saw a cat up a tree. She rang the firehouse on her telephone. Help, she cried, cat up a tree. Sorry, said the firehouse. We do not catch cats up a tree anymore. Call back if that cat starts playing with matches. Nana Quimby went to the window and counted five cats up a tree. She rang the police station. Help, she cried, five cats up a tree. Sorry, said the police station, we do not catch cats up a tree. Call back if the cats rob a bank. Nana Quimby went to the window and counted 10 cats up the tree. She rang the pet shop. Help, she cried, 10 cats up a tree. Sorry, said the pet shop, we do not catch cats up a tree. Call back if the cats wish to buy a dog. Nana Quimby went to the window and counted 15 cats up the tree. She rang the zoo. Help, she cried, 15 cats up a tree. Sorry, said the zoo, we do not catch cats up a tree. Call back if one of the cats is tall and has stripes. Our tiger is missing. Nana Quimby went to the window and counted 20 cats up the tree. She rang the post office. Help, she cried, 20 cats up a tree. Sorry, said the post office, we do not catch cats up a tree. Call back if the cats are sending a postcard and need a stamp. Nana Quimby went to the window and counted 25 cats up the tree. She rang the library. Help, she cried, 25 cats up a tree. Sorry, said the library, we do not catch cats up a tree. Call back if the cats have an overdue book. Nana Quimby went to the window and counted 30 cats up the tree. She rang City Hall. Help, she cried, 30 cats up a tree. Sorry, said City Hall, we do not catch cats up a tree. Call back if you need a sign that says danger, look up for falling cats. So when Nana Quimby went to the window and counted 35 cats up the tree, she threw the telephone out the window. Then 40 cats tiptoed across the telephone line and hopped in the window into Nana Quimby's arms. Later, Nana Quimby's telephone rang. It was City Hall. Help, cried City Hall. Mice in the firehouse, mice in the jail. Mice in books, mice in the mail. Mouse here, mouse there, millions of mouses everywhere. Sorry, said Nana Quimby. The cats do not catch mice anymore. Call back if you wish to hear cats purr. She set the phone down softly for too many cats to count were having a nap. The End Widget by Lynn Rossiter McFarland Widget was a little stray dog. He had no home and he had no friends. He was very sad and lonely. He was cold and hungry too. He saw a house at the end of the road. There was a door just his side so he peeked inside. He saw six cats, six warm beds, and six bowls of hot food. Widget dove for the food and straight into Mrs. Diggs. Well, you poor thing, said Mrs. Diggs. I wish you could stay, but I'm afraid the girls just can't stand dogs. Widget looked at the girls. 
He looked at Mrs. Diggs. She seemed really nice. Widget, Widget really wanted to stay. Meow, said Widget. Mrs. Diggs laughed. Well, girl, she said, what do you think? The girls puffed up. Widget puffed up. The girls hissed and spit. Widget hissed and spit. The girls growled. Widget purred, played with a toy mouse, and used the litter box. The girls stopped growling. They were confused. Widget looked like a dog. He smelled like a dog, but he acted like a cat. Mrs. Diggs set a bowl down for Widget. Widget started eating. He never took his eyes off the girls. The girls started eating. They never took their eyes off Widget. Why, you fit right in, said Mrs. Diggs to Widget. And Widget did fit right in. From that day on, Widget ran with the girls, he played with the girls, and he curled up with the girls. In fact, he had so much fun with the girls, he sometimes forgot he was a dog. One day, Mrs. Diggs tripped on a toy and fell down. She didn't move. Widget and the girls were worried. They meowed for help, but no one came. They screeched, they yowled, they caterwauled for help, but no one came. Then Widget barked for help. The girls were shocked. Then they barked for help, too. Everyone came. Mrs. Diggs was saved. I didn't know you had a dog, said a neighbor. Oh, yes, said Mrs. Diggs. It's nice to have a dog, right, girls? Oh, yes, the girls agreed. The end.